After learning the so many different type of the standard function, now we're going to discuss about the greatest integer function. Some people say greatest integer function and even some people say as a floor function and even I have seen some people saying this step function. So whatever the name we give, the concept always remains same as usual, you know. Uh, so what is this greatest integer function? Hmm. Okay, so let's let's try to understand. It's a it's a function something like this. Let's say it's f of x and that is equals to see how I'm giving the symbol, all right? Try to understand it. Try to remember this. I'm closing by the square bracket or better we we represent more often we represent like this, you know. See, I'm trying to make a L shape, all right? A floor I'm trying to make. This is floor, okay? And I'm putting my my number here, uh, real number x and I'm just closing that, all right? So, this is called, uh, you know, uh, the floor function or the symbol of floor function. I'm just trying to make this is floor, you know, and inside that floor we have a real number x, okay? So uh, Now what should we understand by this? Okay? Um, let me tell you first here here our you know x can be any real number, right? Keep in mind any real number and when I'm putting this real number into the symbol of floor function all right, then it represents a floor function and it means like uh, the, the greatest integer equal to x or less than x keep it in your brain very very nicely and remember it all right uh, a floor function of x represents always an integer always an integer keep in mind this is an integer always and that is equal to x or less than x okay so an integer which is equal to x or less than x let me show you an example Let's say for a while, I'm going to put in this function, let's say, uh, I'm going to put 2.75 for a while, all right? So, inside the floor function, I'm going to put 2.75. Then what does it give? Hmm, now you can tell me. So, it gives you, you know, a greatest integer. So, we will get an integer. We'll not get like 2.75 or 2.9 or 2.3. Point will not be there at, at all, all right? So, we'll get an integer that is equal to x. So if x is an integer, right, this is 2 by the way, if x is an integer, then we'll get the exact equal integer and if x is not an integer, alright, this is the case if x is an integer, alright, the first one is x is an integer and second one is if x is not an integer in that case, alright, if x is not integer, then we'll get less than x. So less than x, which integer is there, alright, uh, we have to check in the number line. Right. Let's say we don't know. We know, but uh, I want to go in a very basic way. Let's say this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. Okay. So, uh, 2.75. Our 2.75 will fall uh, somewhere here. All right. 2.5 here. Okay. So, uh, 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 integer equal to x. That's not possible in this case. So, we have to go uh, integer less than x. So, what is the less than this this 2.5 this is 2.5 less than 2.5 which integer is there absolutely that is 2 you know 2 is the, uh, the 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 integer very very close and very very less than 2.5 all right so our answer will be here 2 all right in another way if you want to understand you know in in this way if you want to say greatest integer function in this way if you want to understand then see Below the 2.5, there are hell number of integers, you know, 1, 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. There are so many integers below that. But among those all, among those all, 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 all integers, we need the greatest one, you know. Among those all, all these integers, our greatest integer is this 2. So that is why our answer will be 2. All right, that is why we say the greatest integer function. Less than 2.5, we have a lot of integers. But among them all, 2 is the greatest one. That's why we say greatest integer function. And now, if you want to understand in a like a, in a floor function way, then you know we are trying to make a floor. You know, like 2.5. What is the floor for the 2.5? Floor. Understand. What do we understand by the floor? Uh, we generally understand down and ceiling. When we understand later, we'll be learning. By the way, ceiling function also, <laughs> right? It, it is from the. Uh, it's a combination. You know, floor and ceiling function. We'll learn later. You learn later after high school. Uh, you know, if uh, if it was a ceiling, you know then ceiling understand us that means us up and floor understand down all right so floor function is just like you know if it is 2.5 you know in a number line then the floor for 2.5 is 2 you know and 3 is the ceiling for that for 2.5 you know let's say let's say this is 2.5 then then 
then this is our floor right and this is our ceiling okay so see here it's 2.5 so the so the floor for the 2.5 it's a, a guy you know the, let's say this is me Anil <laughs> standing uh, and uh, the height is let's say 2.5 meters so what is the floor for me for floor for me is 2 right and ceiling for me is 3 let's say uh, there is another guy taller than me uh, let's say here is another guy taller than me all right and uh, let's say his height is uh, 2.79 okay so whatever the height he is whether he is taller or he is smaller than me <laughs> now I'm, I'm a little taller than someone <laughs> okay so let's say this is uh, the guy is 2.1 okay so the guy is 2.1 I'm 2.5 another guy is 2.79 but for we all the floor is common you know and the floor is of 2 there may be one on if you go further you'll get four you know for we all the floor is two okay so I'm gonna say if it is 2.1 oh my god like this or it if if it is 2.79 or even if it is 2.99 whatever you go like 2.99 will be somewhere here but for all we have the common floor and the common floor is two all right two 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 okay so th that's why we know we say a uh, floor function or step function why do we say step so while standing where I'm stepping I'm stepping on two you know so that's why we say this is a step function all right so it's very very easily understandable uh, if you if you go in a very very simple way if I'm telling you to write down the floor function of any integer then that's very simple just chop off the point say them goodbye right just chop off the points if you just chop off the point 2.75 will get 2 2.1 you'll get 2 2.79 you'll get 2 2.99 you'll get 2 just chop off the points and if you get like 3.999 or whatever 999 so again what you have to do you have to just chop off the 3.999 and, and I mean point you need to chop off if you po chop off the point you'll get 3 all right similarly like like if you are getting 4.895 so you just have to chop off this point you'll get 4 all right whatever it is let's say 595 you'll get 5 uh, simply you know whenever uh, someone is telling you what is the greatest integer function or floor function or stay function then then uh, for any number then you just have to write you know let's say I have a number anything let's say x point uh, uh, p q z then simply you know the floor function of x point p q z will be just x that's it all right no more discussion that's it all right mm, some of you may be interested in uh, in learning in a graphical way and similarly let's say this is x and this is the floor function of x okay which we also say most often f of x okay so uh, here I'm going to put integer 1 so I'll get uh, the floor function of 1 that is 1 I'm putting here let's say 1.5 so the floor function of 1.5 will be how much uh, you just have to chop off the point you know directly I'm going to write that will be 1 and if it is 2 that's uh, that's a perfect integer so we'll get 2 and if it is 2.9 yes that will be 2 and now let's take 0 0 is an integer so we're getting perfect 0 all right and let's say if we have 0 0.5 if we have 0 0.5 we have to just chop off the uh, point uh, this you know the, this this 5 so we'll get uh, 0 you know so the the floor for 0 0.5 is 0 you know if, if you see in the even in the number line you know um, it's 0 1 2 you know this is minus 1 minus 2 just take a look on the floor you know everywhere like uh, 2.9 it was somewhere the floor is uh, this one and for the 1.5 is here the floor is one you know and for 0 0.5 it will be here the floor will be the zero you know and any number like between these two the floor will be minus one the any number between these two the floor will be this one so let's take some number here that's uh, 0 0.5 and that's negative so the floor will be minus one and uh, this time you might be saying hey you say to chop off uh, that's not gonna exactly apply in negative numbers uh, uh, anyways uh, minus uh, 1.5 so it's gonna be uh, now 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 mi minus 1.5 will be here so the floor for the minus 1.5 will be 2 all right so minus 2 and the floor for let's say minus 3 will be 3 you know somehow like this so let's let's plot all those and what kind of graph we're going to get let's take a look okay so when we have 1 we're getting 1 all right so for 1 we're getting 1 perfect and for 1.5 we have 1 again cool and for 2 we have 2 for 2 we are going here okay okay it means we have here void nothing here 
And for 2.9, we have 2. For 2.9, we have 2. All right. Here. And for 0, we have 0. Hmm. 0 for 0. For 0, for 0. And for 0 0.5, okay, here. Uh, we have 0 again. All right. We are here. And x equals to 1 will get void, you know, because uh, if, if x is equals to 1, then we'll get a 1 here, not 0. Okay. Similarly, we have minus 0 0.5. Minus 0 0.5 will be somewhere here. And for minus 0 0.5, we have minus 1. Minus 1 is here. Okay. And similarly, for minus 1.5, minus 1.5. A better uh, first we should write for minus 1. It's minus 1 is a perfect integer, so it will be minus 1, all right? So for the minus 1, we'll get minus 1. And for minus 1.5, minus 1.5 will be somewhere. And then for that, it is minus 2. Means you are getting here. And similarly, for the minus 2 also, I didn't write here. For minus 2, we'll get here. You know, for minus 2, we'll get minus 2. So simply for minus 2, it'll be here. And even a single bit bigger than minus uh, minus two, you know, uh, even a little bigger than minus two, we'll be getting here three, you know, because if you see the floor for uh, for any number, you know, between uh, minus two and minus three, for these any number here, they have to stand on this minus three. So for them, it will be you know, any number a little bigger than this uh, minus two will have the three, you know. Uh, so here, here, you know, these all. So let me let me show you the graph how it's going to be. Uh, at three, you'll get you'll get uh, three. All right, keep in mind, it will be here. And at three, uh, we'll get here void till here, you know. And similarly, uh, it will be like this. And it will be like this. And here it will be void, and it will be here. Similarly, at two, it will be void here, and it will be like this. Similarly, you know, if you go down at three you'll get void here and it will be like this at four you'll get void here and it will be like this you know so exactly at the integer you'll get void and you'll get a steep jump you know that's why also we say sometimes you know steep uh, so we're giving a step every time at three you'll get uh, just a step up at two you'll get just step up here at one you'll get step up all right so the graph is something like this uh, i hope you understand it and we're going to talk about the properties of this uh, greatest integer function or floor function or step function i think the video is getting really longer so rest of this will be discussing in the next video